look, I'm sitting in here right now recording to you guys. Man City have just beaten Man United 3-1. My team, as you can see in the background, so Matt Osby way. You know what, yeah? I'm not going to come on here and start screaming. All I'm going to say is, if you're a City fan watching this back, congratulations. Uh, you deserve that fully, you know? I think 3-1... That's, that scoreline could have probably went anyway. I think Man United put our game plan and it worked until it didn't work. And this is what I mean about quality. When it shines through, it's so evident to see. I'm not going to get onto Ten Hag today. Actually, no, I am about something. I'm not really going to get onto none of the players. I thought this is what you're going to get with this Man United team. This is what you're going to get throughout probably most of the season. Look, the game plan was decent. Like Obviously, because the only thing that we know how to do properly is counter-attack and soak up pressure. And then obviously concede many, many shots. How Haaland missed in the first half is beyond me. Rashford, you got you are you not entertained? You got an absolute weldy from Rashford, top bins off the bar, and then you got that Foden. <laughs> Don't even let me get side on Foden, right? But look, good win. Make sure you smash the like button, people. The likes go so far. So if you're listening to my voice and you see that, just come on, man. Just two seconds, one like, subscribe if you're new, and then we'll get into it. But yeah, look. Look, Man City got the three points. They've just made the title race very, very interesting. It could have been ended today because I'm telling you now, Liverpool and Arsenal would have absolutely loved that to go into, obviously, next week. And especially Liverpool, Manchester City, Liverpool would have ate that up, especially when being at Anfield. You'd be more than confident to go and pretty much end all sorts of title hopes. So the three horse race is still on. Look, I said to you guys on other videos... Um, even the one yesterday after the Liverpool game. Do not expect Manchester United to do any favours, especially away from home. I say that, but really and truly in that old Trafford, what are we really doing? Yes, we got to play Arsenal and yes, we got to play Liverpool and it'll probably be more favourable for Man United, especially if they when they have um, players back. But I, I'm just going to say, I told you so. So I don't want no one coming on here giving me slander saying, what's wrong with your crap team? Oh, like, I, can't, I can't understand your accent. Why are you not being positive about Man United? That's exactly why. This is exactly why I didn't expect much. I watched it and I thought, you know what? Man United is going to do a hang on job today. And that's that. You know, after the Rashford goal, sit back, hope for the best. And no, no, if it wasn't for him, it could have been an absolute cricket score. Um, you know, and but the thing is, Man United kept it tight in the middle and made it very, very frustrating for, you know, obviously Manchester City. And what they had to do is resort to long shots and obviously crossing. And obviously, Haaland wasn't in the game. You know, K KDB had probably one of his most poor, well, most poor games I've seen in a while. Obviously, he's only been back for a short while. I would say the, the magic today come from that boy who loves to play in a derby, loves to score in a derby, nearly got a hat-trick as well. And that's Foden, man. Foden deserves every single bit of praise. Like, he took that game to the scruff of his neck. I know a lot of people, even including myself, would say, I would like to see Foden more down the middle because I think that suits him best. But off that, he was cooking Lindelof in the second half. You know, he was absolutely a menace to society. He took that game personal. And the thing is, it's just his desire. Look at the way he won the ball back against Anthony. You can't, you can't not praise this guy. So stop doing all the comparisons. Foden's Foden, and he's got something like 17, 18 goals this season already. And it's his best tally in terms of appearances consecutively in a, in a Manchester City campaign. Obviously, I look at second half very well. You know, I thought he, he deserves a bit of plaudits. I can't really say much else for... The majority of the, the Manchester City team. I don't think Alvarez done much when he came on. I don't think Bernardo had his greatest game. But what, what that showed is like, even if they don't play well, they still give you a 7 out of 10. They give you a 6 out of 10. Maybe they might give you an 8 out of 10. And look at the way they moved the ball and tried to break Manchester United down. Obviously, the second goal went in from Man United getting a little bit too adventurous. You know, and if you're going to talk to me about oh, that first half, uh, that first goal, Marcus Rashford got, um, got tackled. I don't want to hear none of that shit. It, he... Should have had a bit more football than IQ and had Walker potentially sent off from the moment he took that ball down on the touch. Remember the first one, just before that, he took the ball down, he touched it down, get your body in the way, get him a yellow card. So in that second phase, he can't touch you. And he, he all he did was put his arm across and you went down like a sack of shit. You know what? I don't think Rashford, I'm not gonna cut, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that he's been anything short of woeful, you know, but that's a typical Marcus Rashford type performance. You know, he actually gave some effort, he got knackered. Um, a little bit like he didn't have no complaints when he came off, but I just thought 10 hog just you got it right until you got it wrong. Taking Kobe Mainu off, he's been rested against Forest, right? He barely got, I don't even think, I don't even know if he even came on. 
he can last 90 minutes. If the rest of them can, he can. And that's when it all dissolved a bit. I know at that point, I believe it was, it was, was it 2-1? I can't even remember because, you know, Foden pretty much scored straight away afterwards anyways. But you lost that composure and that's what led to that third goal. You know, if you really wanted to shut shop up and get a bit more adventurous, you keep Cobby on, let him be the more advanced midfielder, maybe take us a, um, a Bruno Fernandes, Scott McTominay, somebody off. And then, you know, you see Anthony come on. What was the point? He's pony. I get it. Garnacho is not the greatest uh, uh, today. Um, I thought, you know, even the one way he's chasing the Edison ball, I think he could have been a more alert to that. But it didn't happen. Obviously, Edison got the ball and absolutely clamped him. But like, if you're going to take him off, I just thought you just took Garnacho off and you took Rashford off. And to be fair, I know they're, they're the outlets of the day, but you got to you got to make sure they push hard. If you're going to take one, just take one off. I don't think you should have taken the other off. I thought Garnacho was quite tidy. Obviously, Delo got moved over to left back to deal with Foden, which in hindsight, it kind of worked. It would work better than Lindelof, but you're not going to get much out of a Lindelof. But yeah, look, Man City dominated. Got three points. What, what more are you going to say? I'm going to sit here. That ball fraud, I want still out of my club anyways, but I'm not going to go towards this game because you know what? We all, we all expected uh, Man City to smash Man United and it didn't happen. You know, it was probably a frustrating evening for Man City until what was it? Let me let me look, just double check the first goal. I think it was around 56 minutes. And then after that, it was the uh, when was the second goal? Oh, yeah, it was the 80th minute. That was it. So it wasn't straight afterwards. I got that one wrong. It's just lackluster little bits of moments. I'm looking at it now. It's Rashford came off and then we conceded because guess what? The shape was all wrong. If you're going to bring on Amrabat and you're going to and you're going to bring on a Forson, you've got to do it in a different way, you know. Clearly, Bruno Fernandes is injured. And I thought Bruno was actually decent. You didn't hear him moan, nothing like that. And that's the performance you kind of want from someone like Bruno because that's all he's going to give in moments in games like this, right? But he was hobbling. He was clearly on some sort of pain injections. Take him off. And to be fair, other than final moments, obviously, that's all he can give. And I'm saying, if you want to be more adventurous, get some people that actually got some legs and be a bit more adventurous and that's a bit more athletic. It didn't happen though, did it? But yeah, I thought Johnny Evans was right until he came off. And that's when it all kind of collapsed, if we're being totally honest. It started there. You know, Evans come off and then straight after, what's it called? Um, Pretty much after Foden's goal. And then, yeah, tried to deal with the situation and it just didn't happen. Look, I, I can't sit here and keep waffling to you guys and trying to give you all the excuses in the world. I've got no excuses. All, I've got to say, all, all I can say is, is, is praise for Man City. And obviously, that's what you're going to get from a Man United team. That's the best that you're gonna get, and that's that. They weren't. It was. It was just not their day. Defended well until they didn't. You know, Anana. There was nothing wrong with Anana today. Um, was he time wasting? Yes. There was eight minutes added on at the end. Um, but I didn't. I thought he made some good saves. I don't think you get onto him. You know, the back line, Varan. You know, I thought Varan would did his job. The low did his job. Lindelof was obviously the weak mark, and then obviously Evans came off, and then it wasn't it really after that midfield. I thought Casemiro was a little bit tidy. I didn't think he was actually that bad. You know, I was thinking, right, like, is this is this Casemiro really? You know, um, like he moving the ball quick as as when when the ball did get to him. But that's all you're going to get with Casemiro is you're going to lock up the middle a bit, but you're going to be limited in situations. Cobby, tidy. Um, other than that, when he went forward to Scott McTominay, what the hell did he offer? He offered he offered arse and cheeks. That's all he offered. So there you go. I thought we should have went more to a four three three shape. I know he's trying to play a four four two out of possession. Bruno quite high sometimes with Rashford, sometimes with McTominay. But and obviously they were working for one another. But I just thought if you're gonna go one-one and you want to be adventurous, go to a four-three-three at least. At least play one of the strikers a little bit deeper, maybe play in a, a bit of a diamond shape, and then have your outlets a bit more tucked in because that's all you're gonna get. Kyle Walker, look at look at the pace of this guy, man. He's fake. He's like 33 years old and he, he's just fake. But look, good win, Manchester City. You moved the ball very quickly. Um, Man United couldn't handle it. You know, you probably want to hear, oh, is Manchester red or blue? You already know the answer to that. It's, that's not actually stupid um in this situation. And yeah, man, you got Liverpool next week. So it's got, got goals under your belt. Going to Anfield, are you confident? Are you not confident? Let me know in the comments, anyways. And yeah, man, hopefully, hopefully you lot get the job done because obviously I don't want City, uh, Liverpool winning this title. I'd rather you boys do the four P, but I'd rather Arsenal win the whole thing. We'll see. Anyways, big up. Make sure you smash the like button. And yeah, man, I'll, I might, I might go on a little rant later on. <laughs>